In my house growing up, we celebrated things a little differently. Instead of Halloween, we had a Hallelujah night. Some costumes I had when I was a kid, uh, Tim Tebow, obviously, Chance the Rapper, when we thought he was a Christian. One year I was a wise man, uh, pre 9-11, of course. I've never been to a haunted house. My parents said the real haunted house is going to public school. My parents told me, if you're gonna celebrate Halloween, you might as well just be having a one night stand with Satan. One year it was just the full, just the armor of God, just all over. I was not a knight. Another year, I was uh, Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat. That was pre-Pride. Uh, one year, I was just my dad. My parents would never let me do trick-or-treat. Uh, we just had to do trunk-or-treat, which is way different. It's where you go up to people you don't know very well, and you get uh, candy from them. But it's from their car, so it's, you know. My very first Halloween costume was actually uh, when my mom was pregnant with me. Uh, she was the whale and I was Jonah. And then when my mom was pregnant with my twin brothers, Mike and Judah, uh, she went as the Ark and they went as matching animals. Yeah, alligators. So yeah, things were different. We uh, we would carve pumpkins, but only if it was a cross or like a Bible verse. I remember doing Trust in the Gourd with all your strength. And that reminds me, uh, our family, we would never say, oh my gourd. Well, we, oh my gorsh way more appropriate. There were several costumes my parents would not let me be though. I wanted to be Joel Ghosting and just kind of dress up as a ghost and ask people for money instead of candy. I wanted to be a mummy, but my parents said I could dress up as one and just have a name tag that says Lazarus. I couldn't be Spider-Man, I had to be Bible Man. You guys know what Halloween spelled backwards is, right? The devil. I couldn't be Harry Potter, I had to be the guy from Left Behind. And then if I wanted to be a ghost, I had to be the Holy Ghost. No, Mom was right, we don't need candy. We already have baked pumpkin seeds at the house. I'll never forget, growing up, I was not allowed to have candy bars. But one time, I was at a party, 16 years old, Dylan's house. Okay, but don't tell my mom I have this, okay guys? Promise. One year our whole family went as like a s'more. I was the Billy Graham cracker, uh, my sister was a marshmallow, and then our compassion child was a chocolate. Every year on Halloween, we would always turn off all of our lights and stay real quiet so that no one would trick or treat at our house. It's an old family tradition. My great grandpa was an immigrant from Germany. He grew up doing it too. Every year on November 1st, me and my family will go around to the neighborhood and we will walk door to door to the people who have been bad. We will give them candy attached to Bible verses. It's called sugar in scripture. It's kind of a Halloweening yourself off sin. But you know what? I probably would not have liked trick or treat anyway. I mean, it is a lot for me to ever meet strangers. There was one year I did get to watch a Halloween movie. Uh, I convinced my mom uh, to watch this movie about a girl uh, who overcomes sin. Uh, it was called The Exorcist. It did not go well. Mom! Emily! Did I eat spiders before I was saved? Wait, sorry, was it? We, we didn't grow up doing that. Bobbing for apples. Okay, fine. And it's just like kissing? Oh, I, I have a great technique for that. Uh, 